Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lau with Kenshan Crafts. Today is Saturday, October 21st, and I finally received my package from Gina Solarino at the Custom Nib Studios. And I had her grind my Sailor Grail pen that I bought from the San Francisco Pen Show. And I am just so excited to share this with you guys. I don't think there's a lot of videos of this beautiful pen on YouTube, so hopefully mine is one of the first few. I do also have a Bunga Box ink to share with you guys as well. So this is going to be a Bunga Box Sailor video. So if you love sailors, you're going to love this. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so Gina gave like this cute sparkly custom nib studio sticker oh my gosh is that a cat? okay yeah that's two cats and a nib i believe these might be their cats or gina's cats Ooh, and it's a really really thick sticker <laughs> so cute adorable okay and then here's the custom nib studio um says you're one of a kind your pen should be too ah Yes, my pen is one of a kind. Oh my gosh. And then now it's even more one of a kind with her journal or nib that I did or that I asked her to do. So, all right, Gina Solarino, customnibstudio.com. Definitely follow Gina on Instagram. Okay, and then a personal note. Oh my gosh, this might be written with the journal or nib. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't quite look like it's a journal in it, but it says, Lau, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the journal or Gina. Cute little rabbit stamp there, too. Okay, so this is the Sailor X Bunga Box uh, pen, and it comes in this cardboard box that has the Bunga Box logo, which is an ink bottle with the cap being <laughs> a nib. All right. So let's open this up. So here is the box. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So beautiful. Let's just take a moment to take in the beauty of this lovely Sailor Pro Gear. Wow. Okay, so, oh my god, the best part of the pen, the rod and finial. That finial is everything for me. Oh my god, I am so happy with this. The rod and turtle is so cute. Look, look at it. It's so, it's a baby turtle. Oh my goodness. I love this pen so much. So this pen is called the Blue Sanctuary Sailor Pro Gear. And it's got transparent blue cap and a transparent green body. And it's got sparkles all over. The finial is white. It's like a milky white. It is not translucent. And the end finial is also white. So I love the very stark contrast that this white gives to the two cool toned colors here. All these colors represent something very special. The, the card here says, our original ink, Sanctuary Blue, is a dark blue-green ink inspired by the deep color of the Inshu Sea, known as a sanctuary for sea turtles. The Sanctuary Blue fountain pen was inspired by the blue color of this ink, the white sand of its beaches, and the sea turtles that are born there. With our wish for this deep blue sea and its white sandy beaches to be a sanctuary for the sea turtles forever. So... I mean, who doesn't love sea turtles? <laughs> so this is my very special grail pen. I just love sea turtles so much. So that makes this pen even more special. So basically the blue and the green represent the deep blue ocean. Um, and, you know, the ocean 
also has some lovely green hues as well. So these both represent the water of that island. The, blue, the white is the sand and the little cute turtle for them being, being born there in that island. And that that is a sanctuary island for them. Uh, I'm s just so in love. And then the cat band here, if I could focus, okay. The cat band says Bunga Box. So Bunga Box. Sanctuary Blue. And it's got a little turtle right there. You see that? <laughs> and then here's another turtle right there. So there are three turtles total. <laughs> and then the fourth turtle is the finial. Oh, a lovely pen. Okay, and then the nib. This nib uh, is stamped with the Bunga Box logo, which is the ink bottle again. This is a 21 karat gold nib. So I really definitely wished that they had just stamped a, you know, a sea turtle under the nib. That would have been beautiful. So I originally bought this as a broad nib. So there you can see the bees right there. So the broad nib was way too broad for me. I've never had a sailor broad nib, so I decided to go with the broad, but then when I tried it out, it was, I, I'm just like, I'm not gonna write with this. <laughs> so my friend Tiffany, I tried her journaler nib that she got done by Gina, uh, Gina, and I was just so in love with it. So I decided to go with that. Yeah, that's the journaler nib grind right there. All right, so here's how my pro gear compares to some other pens in my collection. Next to the Progear Slim, it is a very, very nice, beefy, bigger boy. <laughs> um, it's a bigger pen. And then here's my Pilot Vanishing Point. Here's the Pelican M605. So yes, like I said in my video, Pelican M605 is the same size as a Sailor Progear. And then here is my Leonardo Memento Zero and a Twisby Eco. So definitely on the smaller end of a pen, um, but it's definitely not as small as a Progear Slim. And then uncapped. All right, so here's all the pens uncapped. It is slightly longer than the Progear Slim. Um, even though when they're capped, the Progear is the same length as a Pelican M605, but uncapped, the Pelican is a longer and thinner pen. And of course, the Twisby and the Leonardo Memento Zero are the, the most comfortable long length unposted for me. So this will be a little smaller than I want it to be unposted, but I think it'll be fine. And then posted. So when posted, the Sailor Pro Gear sits about middle height for or middle length for every for all of these pens. This uh, Twisby Eco is definitely the longest. If you enjoy your Twisby Eco length, then the Sailor Pro Gear will be about, you know, maybe half an inch shorter. And then the Pelican M605 is just slightly longer. So let's let's uh, take a look at the ink so that we can start doing a writing sample. So this ink I chose, uh, I bought this ink as well. So the ink was, oh my gosh, it's, it's expensive. The ink I think was about $30 or 35 and it's only 30 milliliters. So it's definitely, more than a dollar per milliliter of ink. They do not sugarcoat their prices at all. It, it's just so expensive. However, it is, it's like a luxury brand, so. Uh, it comes in this beautiful white rectangular box, and what you do is you, you, you have to like push the box here, and push it over here, and then lastly push here, and then it opens up like that. So their inks come in this lovely, like, little shoe-style ink bottle. It is pretty stable, like, it's not going to tip over. But it is small, so 
this base is pretty good, but then this base over here is kind of small. So I, I do fear that it might tip over, but it, it hasn't for me yet. <laughs> so this ink that I bought is called Tears of Alice. And Tears of Alice um, is a lovely teal uh, blue. It leans on the blue side, but it's a teal. It's very, very bright um, of a color. It's not dark. So let's do a swatch of that. So you can see. And so let's see. I mean, it doesn't match the pen perfectly, but it's the color that I love. <laughs> there is a Blue Sanctuary ink by Bunga Box. Now, that one would be more of a perfect match for this pen. So I definitely am going to look for buying that. Right. This is Bunga Box. Tears of Alice. That is just such a gorgeous color, don't you think? If you are a teal lover, this is a beautiful, beautiful, bright teal. And then I have it here on a swatch card, the wearing gold swatch cards. You can see that lovely shading right there. It is a shading ink, but it's not dry at all but it, it it does flow a little slow <laughs> at times um but it's it's not like it doesn't drag on the paper so i do like that okay so let's just do a dip test all right oh my gosh this pen feels so good in my hand unposted. And I usually post my sailors. So this is my sailor. Pro gear. Next Boonga box. Blue. Sanctuary. Wow, it writes so smooth. And this width, it's the perfect medium for me. I think Gina said that the journal nibs are medium size. And this is lovely. It's a lot less broad than what it uh, what I started out with. So I'm very happy with that. And this pen can post. It posts to a very, very comfortable long pen. And without posting, it's also so nice. Wow. Now, if you guys don't like posting your sailors because you're afraid that it's going to make scratches on your sailor pens, the Sailor Pro Gear is a really good size. I have smaller hands, so it would be better if you have smaller hands to unpost it. But if you have larger hands, posting it is also phenomenal. I do like both ways now that I see, you know, like I, I have one Pro Gear and I barely use it. <laughs> but this, this Pro Gear, like I will always use this Pro Gear. Let's see the line variations. So this is a downstroke. This is a cross stroke. The cross stroke seems to be a little thinner than the downstrokes, so that's the journal or nib. And let's see if there's any line variation on this 21 karat nib. It is a soft nib, I love it. Usually Sailor Pro Gears, uh, Sailor nibs are very stiff. This one is soft, <laughs> um, but I still wouldn't like push the tines of a sailor nib 
I feel that Sailor Nibs are super precise, very lovely, and they just have that perfect feedback. I asked Gina to leave some feedback left to it because the broad nib had almost no feedback. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Oh my gosh, I love that feedback so much. Did you guys hear that? Oh, that feedback is so nice and it's so smooth. So you're just writing with it, it's smooth, which means the ink and the nib complement each other well. The nib, this ink is not dr super dry at all. Um, I don't really see much shading, actually, so this ink probably doesn't shade too much, but that, I guess that really depends on the paper or the nib as well, so. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy with the journal or nib. This is going to be such a fun nib to write with. I'm so happy with this. Thank you so much, Gina. You are amazing. If you guys have journaler nibs, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so that is my Sailor Pro Gear from Bunga Box, and it has beautiful sea turtle and it's got the beautiful Gina journal nib on it. How special is this pen? And it's my special grill sailor pen. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh gosh, my excitement for it. I just can't contain it. So, oh. <laughs> all right, enough of that. So if any of you guys have a journal or nib, let me know how you love your journal or nib. This is gonna be my first time writing with it and I'm just, I'm just going to enjoy it so much, I believe. Let me know down in the comments what your Sailor Grail is. I would love to know. And hopefully I don't buy your Sailor Grail because... <laughs> knock on wood, I love so many Sailors and I will just buy them all. But they're expensive. And I definitely try to find them you know, at good prices. This Sailor Boonga Box uh, Blue Sanctuary pen was on the second market a couple months ago like that i was looking for um about eight hundred dollars like seven to nine hundred dollars and when bunga box brought it back at the san francisco pen show it was i bought this for four hundred dollars so if you missed out on that this the retailers here in america are selling this pen at yoseka and jet pens for 480 and 499 so it's it's about a 20% markup at the retailers, um, but I think this is such a beautiful pen. To me, it was worth that $400 that I paid. And of course, it's a Grail pen, so yes. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me in taking a first look at my Sailor um, Journal or Nib and my Sailor Pro Gear Blue Sanctuary. Oh, such a lovely pen. Um, yeah, I'm just at a loss for words. So again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and comment down below. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos of my lovely pens and pen adventure experiences. If you're not subscribed yet, I would so appreciate that. My goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by my birthday in December. So if you do subscribe, that would really help out my goals. So thank you, thank you again. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.